this is a very Winnipeg story. That's how we took it. Um, and I mean that in the sense that you know, we're architects, so we, you know, we're dealing with the physical space and the, and the city, and this in space and time. And the reason why I thought I would start with that, and this old bridge is building, it's, so we're close in the shadow of Portage and Maine. But I wanted to make the point that, you know, I'm going to show some images and talk about the process we used to design this monument and, and what its inspiration is. But, you know, when it comes to buildings and physical things like this, you really have to experience them. You want to get so close to the photo. Um, <clears throat> My talk today will focus uh, primarily on the section 1919 that depicts Bloody Saturday. But before I do that, I'd like you to actually see that section uh, for those of you who don't have the book. And so I prepared this uh, three minute uh, slideshow with music and sound effects. So let's take a look at that. Sean, do you want to do the honors? <laughs> Trials, no hearings, you weren't allowed. 
your uh, striker and your immigrant here on the train and you're back in your home country in three days. That's short and sweet. So, uh, all right. so imagine now if you're a Ukrainian or a Jewish immigrant and you get caught here or there and uh, the police came around the back line over there to hold people in so they couldn't talk to you. Uh, are you going to go to a hospital? Put it in today's terms. We've all heard of the Americans' ICE, the Immigration Authority, and how they go to talk uh, houses and hospitals and they look through the names and pull them out. That's what they're up against. So they lick their wounds and went home and hopefully heal them. Yeah. And that's why the 89 is such a low count uh, uh, with the uh, 